Hi, you guys. Let's get the hands warm. Glad you're all back on, back in the fold or back on the wagon or whatever happened. Feels good in here though. I always liked this place. I didn't ever thought I would. And I've always liked it. You'll have to come and visit, you guys, the dynamic duo. Because it's sweet. And we have our magic deep chopra floor, which acts like a grounding pad. It's like grass. It's a special item. Take a nice deep breath and exhale. Softly cover your eyes with your palms. Straighten the spine. Relax the shoulders. Breathe in and breathe out. Easy as you settle in. Invite yourself to cultivate an intimate relationship with your breath. Invite yourself to be your breath, to breathe your breath, and to follow your breath to your yoga, the yoga, and into that great spaciousness within surrounding. And remember to invite yourself to befriend yourself and to participate in your healing. And be that in the happy Buddha. Separate. We have it. Oh, we do have some pretty clouds. <laughs> Look like Louisiana and easy. Stretch your arms and go out through your energy body softly and easily. And go ahead and ground yourself. And then gather the sweetness right into your heart. And easy, stretch your arms up and overhead, breathe in. And exhale, just simply right off the right hip, just easy, tilt over, anchor your left leg, turn your head, loosen your neck, and look down at that right shoulder, see if it's torqued up into your earlobe. You wanna drop it away from your ear. Good job. And then easy, breathe into your left rib cage, lift on up and exhale off to your left side and breathe easy. Turning the head, stretching the arm over the ear, good job. Loosening the neck, good. And breathe into your right rib cage, lift on up. And exhale, twist the body. Take the right hand near your tailbone, the left hand to your knee, roll the shoulders, extend the neck, drop the shoulders, lift the chest. Good job, good adjustment. Breathe in, breathe out. Make sure the navel point is helping you exhale. June 1st, here we go. Flatten the belly, swing the arms out, up, and overhead. It's such a strange time. And twist. That back hand slides close to your tailbone whenever you can lay the palm down and help extend and lengthen the spine, swiveling that upper torso. Take your arm to the other leg, uh, Barb, to your left leg. That's good and pull that right hand back behind you a little more. Your left one, I mean, sorry. Uh-oh, dyslexia strike. And easy, flatten the belly, extend the arms, come out, up and overhead, and exhale, slide on down the heart line, pausing at the breastplate, dedicating this breath to your body, this practice to your body, to the sweetness the opportunity to house the spirits in this most sacred of temples. Breathing in easy. Hands slide on down and let's change the feet. And bring your hands to the inside thighs. Lift the chest up. Stretch forward. Press down on your inner legs. Squeeze your wings together. Thrust your chest forward. Loosen your jaw. Press down on the legs. You can feel it in the hips. I would, I would assume. And then swing the torso around. I love your left shoulder, Gary. 
<laughs> oh, there you go. Hi, honey. Oh, that's so cute. There you are. I can miss that smile. And take the other swinging around the body. Good. Bring the chest forward in front of the ankles, Bob. Good. Spin that torso, Barb. And then easy, come into the center, stretch the arm out, up and overhead, twine the thumb, drop the head back. Breathe in, exhale your tongue out to your chin quietly. Breathe in through the nose. Exhale the tongue to the chin. Once more, breathe in. Exhale. Then inhale the head up. Ears between the upper arms, stretch really long. Breathe in a little more. And exhale, cantilever out like you were diving over the edge of the Grand Canyon. Arms by the ears. Don't go all the way down. Arms by your ears. Lift your chest up. Good. Lift your chin. Will to <laughs> thrust your chest forward. Good. Breathing. Good. You can loosen the head. Now inhale, look up. And exhale, round back behind your tailbone. Stretch your arms forward. Scoop out your belly. Good. Look over your fingertips well. Mr. Zim. You can spin a little bit side to side. Loosen up the kidneys. And roll the hips. Inhale, lift up. Look up. And take the arms around behind you. Elbows squeeze back in happy cactus. And then bring the hands behind you. Twine your fingers. Roll the shoulders. Stretch the arms down towards the ground. Really open up in the chest. Lift the chin slightly. Good. Roll those shoulders back. Reach down. Breathe in. Breathe out. Chin is up. Ooh. One chin. Remember, bite the apple. Um, um, um. Stretch the chest. That isometric opening. Exaggerate your breath so when you exhale, you close the ribs strong. Breathe in, breathe out. And then easy. Take the hands off the ground, off the floor. Squeeze the elbows together. Lift the chin and dive on down to your towards your ankles roll the arms up towards the sky if you want to fold the arms on your lower back you can stretch there roll those shoulders brenda that's good anchor your tailbone susan <laughs> oh hey rusty <laughs> hi rusty good roll the arms up towards squeeze those shoulders together that's it Mr. Squire, squeeze the shoulders, stretch, drop down a little more, Gary. Arms up, what's happening, Lee? Hands up, squeeze, drive all that energy right to the center of your brain. Two more breaths, one, two, and easy. Lower the arms, slowly stack the vertebra, sweep the arms out, up and overhead, look up. Slide down the heart line, pause at the breastplate, dedicating the practice in your breath to your sweet, most radiant, kind, and compassionate soul. Dedicate the breath and the practice to a mind that is soft and liquid. Dedicate the practice to that yearning for conscious contact, for a relationship with the divine. And then just let the hands float down to your knees, sit softly. Eyes closed, stack your head up on that skinny neck. Let your shoulders drop away, your chest be open to the length of your spine. Breathe easy. Plump lips, smooth brow. Practicing the art of stillness, seatedness, rootedness. Thank you. 
scanning the body, finding a relationship with the internal sweetness. Easy, take a nice deep breath, exhale like a sigh. Ah. Hold your outside legs and pull the knees together and stretch the legs, open up into a wide ah. pattern. Open your legs really wide, Barb. Go wild. <laughs> Pat on the rebar. Get the circulation good. You probably want to sit on your pillow. But you are, you're so good. Squeeze. Ah. Aye. Rub the legs. Squeeze the inside of your knees. And then go ahead and let's. Oh, I sound like a watermelon. <laughs> Pat on your stomach. Ah. Pat around on your kidneys. And then let's come up to the lymphatics. I picked out a watermelon at Trader Joe's yesterday. It sounded just like that. <laughs> they say you have to pat them. Vibe your watermelons. Come up through your chest. Good job. Shake out your hands, squeeze your feet, arms up and overhead, and then arc again. Practice that opening of the chest, the elbows leading until the hands come to the back. And be careful of your back, Mr. Squire, yes? Pull the shoulders together. Oh, both of you, it's a duet thing. Pull the heels together. They both have a bad back. <laughs> that way one of them doesn't get more sympathy than the other right <laughs> pull the heels in and then slide the legs out and point the toes open the top of the feet lift yourself up off the ground a little bit straight legs squire straight legs ah lift up good and lower back down slide the legs in you can feel that pulling of the legs in and then push the legs out, go Lee, and open the top of the toes. Open the top of the feet, really pointing. And then easy, put the toes to the, to the sky, grab onto your shin bones, lift your head, and exhale, rotate the torso, curl the right shoulder ball towards the center of your legs and turn your head over your left toes. Oh, good job. Okay, then come back up. There's kind of a variety happening. Some of it's because of the limitations of the inner thighs. Lift the chest, isolate and roll that left shoulder and let the hand slide down the shin and try and get that left shoulder right in between the middle of your Watch your legs. Uh huh. And then turn and look over to the right. Oh, hello, legs. And then slide. Yes, Linda. And then slide back up. And then turn. So you try and get some twist through that thoracic spine. You're going to need that up there, breathing with all those grandchildren in Alaska running in circles in the igloo. How many? I said great-grandchildren. How many great-grandchildren? Nine. Nine great-grandchildren. Mr. Marlin had an experiment a million years ago and had all these kids. Now <laughs> he lives in Palm Springs going to Alaska. Nine great-grandchildren. Jesus. It's more than my mom has. <sighs> And some in high school, so I can have some great grades. <laughs> Jesus, we have to get some photographs. Turn the other side. Find yourself following your breath. So you inhale, lift up. Exhale, twist. 
turning your ear towards the ground. So you feel good in your back, yes? It's okay, good. So be nice to it. Good, Will, how, how about you, Mr. Zim? Keep the elbows, at, oh. <laughs> I like that sign language. Other side, toes to the sky, Barb. As you start to warm up, it's gonna be a couple times on each side. Some of you loose as the goose people get down to the ground with your head. Peebles, how are you doing? Okay. Keep going, it'll help you walk home. <laughs> and then back into the center and easy. Drop the hands down in front of you. Lift the chest up, drive the armpits down so you engage your pectorals and then exhale, let your head go down to the ground and then you inhale, lift up. Exhale, claw. This is where you wish you were on the grass so you could hold the grass to get down. Inhale, twice more, breathe in. Exhale down. Once more, inhale up. How's it looking? Down to the ground. Good job. There it is, there it is, good. Oh, Gary, you love it. Inhale. <laughs> Lift up, stretch it up. Oh, Linda, you've disappeared. Walk your hands back on in. Take the arms out to the side, toes to the sky, fingers to the sky, fingers down, arms straight. Lift your chin more. That's good. Push the palms, push away from you. Inhale up overhead and exhale to the right side. Legs stay open. Doesn't matter if they tremble or if they're burning. It's okay. Try and drop that right shoulder, Mr. Squire. Turn your head up to the left. That's better. Breathe. Inhale, lift it up, good job. And exhale out to the side. Oh boy, there's the love handle. It's the Cheeto Zimmerman, thanks a lot. You brought me Cheetos to class. <laughs> and inhale, lift up. And exhale, bring your arms back around behind you. Roll the hips. Lift the leg, bring it back. Lift the leg, bring it back. Pull the bottom behind you slightly. Your buns. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, forward bend, folding in position of the witness. Drop your head down. You can put a micro bend in your knees if your back is really bugging you. You can pull your stomach in and let your elbows get heavy. Good, and shake it out a little bit. Squeeze your toes so you keep that circulation going. Rock a little side to side, toes to the nose, hands back by the knees. Open the feet, push the heels, open the top of the feet, midline happening, push the heels, can you see my feet? Choo -choo. Point the toes, midline squeeze together, bikini bottom together, chest up and out over the thighs. Push the heels, toes to the nose, toes to the nose, stretch, breathe once more. Point the heels. No, that's wrong. Are you being that obedient? How do you point your heels? No one <laughs> even said anything. Hello, they're in the zone. Push the heels. Walk the hands on back. Inhale, lift up. Exhale three times. Bow down. Undulate. Stack vertebra. Inhale, lift up. Uh huh. Exhale down. Inhale. Thank you for trying. <laughs> and exhale down. Inhale, lift it up. Let's hold it up. Slide the hands by. Let's lift up in the picnic table and just loosen everything up. Strong hands and feet. Shake out the money maker. Open and close the jaw, right leg in and up. That's good, Barb. 
and lower down. Left leg in and up, move the foot. Good, buns high, buns high. Lower down, <laughs> inhale, lift the head, up, down. Open the feet. Knees against each other. You can't do that? Oh, I saw, and Will turned them that way too. Squire, feet apart, way wide, knees against. I know. Turn them backwards. Oops, windmill, windshield, wipe. Try and get those knees all the way down. Good. Spread your feet a little further apart, Gary. That's nice. Then to lift the chest, though, when the knees go down. Don't forget about the upper body. Oh, good, Mr. Zim. That's good. <laughs> He's cooked spaghetti. Yeah. <laughs> Other side. Let's go to the right side. Walk your hands. Knees are down. Good. Walk your hands near you. Are you do you have room between your foot and your knee, Gary? Good. So the knees are down. And let's stay to the right and pump that left hip. Get your knees down, little girl. Get your knees down. Get your knees down, Barb. It's like kindergarten. This is like grandchildren. <laughs> Take that right hand and turn it away from your body and spin around. Oh, good. Look all the way over your right shoulder. Open your eyes. Uh -huh. Eyes are wide. Now stretch that left leg out and straighten the left leg. Good. Keep wringing out the organs by twisting the upper torso. And then easy, lift on up. You can try it. That's good. Yes, Mr. Marlon. Oh, hey, hooray. And then down you come. Don't worry. Grab your left foot, pull it in. Ta da! Ta da! Holy Rama! And easy. Take the feet apart, take the knees together, and spin side to side. Yeah, make sure you really get those knees down, Mr. Squire. It should feel really good on your back. Tuck your feet in a little closer so you can keep your hands on the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you get more torque through the hips and the uh, lower back area. And then we end up over on the left. And you bring your hands close to you. And then you pulse that right hip up. Oh, you guys are doing that pulse. Pulse. Forgot the pulse. You've got her all the way off dancing in the rage. <laughs> and now turn that lower hand around away from you. Take the right hand, spin all the way. Really, ah, oh, that's good. And then reach and stretch through that right leg. Good, twist the upper torso, lift the chest. Beautiful, now try and lift up onto the shin bone. Are you there? Good, there you go. And curl your spine, Brenda, look back towards the flowers. Pass the lotus. Safu, thrust the pelvis forward nicely. Something's blooming outside your window. It's beautiful. Breathing. There you go, Preebles. The old backflip on the wakeboard. And then easy down you come. Grab that right foot next to the left. And ta da. And easy. Pull right on over into child's pose. Push the knees together. Swing around either side, open the knees, and drop into child's pose. Try and touch the big toes. Open your knees wide and just walk yourself out so that your forehead settles down on the earth. 
So that increase in circulation in the body, the, are you cramping, Barb? Oh, this, it often happens in this position. Easy, tailbone settles back onto the heels. Stretch those armpits, feel the lymphatics. You know, you can feel the side ribs working. The tailbone is heavy, beautiful. Just imagine yourself bowing down to bringing yourself into that place of surrender, letting gravity relax your inner thighs, relax your belly, relax the middle of your back. And then reversing all of that flow of energy from the tail up to the crown of your head. Cerebral spinal fluid, life force, the kundalini, your chi, that pranic flow. Relaxing the body. Finding yourself acknowledging that you showed up, you're willing to work, and that some of the work is practicing the art of stillness, of quietness. <sighs> Nurturing self. Now dig your fingertips into the ground and lift your palms and shimmy out your shimmy your shoulders and your chest. Lay the hands down and rise up onto all fours. Bring the knees into parallel. Roll the shoulders and give yourself some spins with the hips around the knees. Good. Lead with your tail. Lead with your arse. Yeah. And then go the other way. Really creating. Ah, yeah, this should feel good. Yes, Mr. Squire? All right. Gary, you doing good? I'm so happy. So good to see you. And easy. Cat cow. Round the body. Look through your thighs. Stretch the wings, flatten the belly, and then flip the tail up, drop the belly, slide the chest forward. Ah, look up at the sky. Ah. And then articulate the tailbone, really stretch that tail towards the heels, open up the lower lumbar, look through your thighs. Good, a couple more. Swing the tail, slide the shoulders back, Will. Zim. Will's him. <laughs> That's the Gaelic pronunciation of William. Good. Once more. Good breathing. And then easy. Roll the shoulders. Find yourself planted. Curl the toes and stretch your right leg back. Look at your hands so that you can activate the inner elbows. The thumbs stretch towards each other. Press that calf and that Achilles really stretching the heel away from you. And then hinge forward onto your shoulders over your wrists and let the right leg float up parallel. Toes pointing towards the ground. That's good. Both arms are straight. And then swing that leg over so you can see it on your right. Drop it off your right hip. Organize the little foot, open up the right arm, look to the sky. That's good. Stack the shoulders, broad across your chest. Roll a little more, Mr. Sim. And then lower that right arm down. Good. And anchor yourself to the earth. Lift up the right leg and spin it around all the way to the other side of yourself so that you can look over your left shoulder and see your toes. Good, stretch. This should feel so good. 
You can put your toes down, Lee, on the ground and look more over your shoulder or bring your toe closer to your nose. Good, and then back easy. Back easy off your hip. Let your left arm go next to your ear and fold in and grab that foot if you're thrill seeking. Good, you got it. Kick that foot back into the hand, lift the chest, press on the ground. Nice, anchor it, Johnny, through the center upper chest. <laughs> so you don't wobble. Good, breathing. Happy face, you guys. And, re and release. <laughs> and lower down. And easy. Cat and cow. Articulate. You can go a little faster and give your back some real stretching. And then easy. Shimmy and shake. Loosen your jaw. Find yourself anchored. Left leg's going to stretch back. Stretch too close to the wall. Good. Keep your head on your neck. That's good. Press back so that you <laughs> don't lose it. Don't let that thing, that pumpkin, wobble around. And then easy, hinge forward with your shoulders over your wrist. And let the back leg float up. Organize yourself. Good, push through the heel. Very nice, spread the fingers, use the fingertips. And easy. Swing off to your side. Good, pull that leg all the way forward, Barb. Further, further, further. Lower the foot down. Mm -hmm. And then spin that arm up over the torso. Stack your shoulders. Make sure that right shoulder hasn't collapsed into your jawbone. Really push that shoulder away so your head has the freedom to wobble. <laughs> Weren't there toys like that? And then lower that right arm down. Left arm down, easy. Lift the leg up, spin it all the way around. Go beyond and look over your right shoulder. Ah. You can scoochie it. Oh, that's good. Ah. This is when you are trying to get something out of the back seat of the car. You can feel it in your gut, I hope right inside the crest of that hip bone, further forward. And then easy, use your belly, lift the leg up, pull it around, back behind you, add the right arm. Right arm is next to the ear, that's good. Breathing, Bob. Lift your head, Barbara. Barbara, Barb, Bob. Good. Leg a little higher, baby. Good, and then go ahead and grab that ankle, kick that foot into the hand, raise the thigh. Good, that's good. Lift your head, there you go, Susan. Breathing. Feel connected, kick it. Then when you release it, the side's better. When you release it, don't wobble. And lower down. Wag your tail, cat and cow, shimmy around. Don't go wild. And then easy, open your knees, touch your big toes, sit back in child's pose. Take a big breath so that as you exhale, you fold and hinge and surrender and relax. He's watching everything you're doing. Breathe easy. Notice the subtleties of your vessel, how the energy has shifted, how the warmth has increased. Notice your pulse, your breath, the capacity for breath.
breathing easy. You can make little fists under your forehead and that feels better on your backs. We'll stack up your fists like this, Mr. Squire. You can let your forehead rest. Easy. It's getting better. And then easy, you're going to hinge, stretch your arms out. You're going to hinge up onto a picnic table, curl your toes, sit on your heels, look at your fingertips, forefinger and thumb strong, inner creases of the elbows, squeeze together, lift up into a small crouch on your way to down dog, making sure that the side body is long, your ears are between the upper arms. Now lift your heels up and easy. Exhale, relax your heels, pedal your heels. Are you breathing? Pedal your heels. Use more of your mat, Bob. Mr. Marlin, use more of your mat. Good, pulse it, breathe it. Now both heels nice and high, bottom nice and high. And then exhale, drop your heels, press your armpits towards your thighs. More Lee, drop your heels. Take more of your mat. And then easy, go ahead and bend your knees and walk your feet forward between your hands. I'm gonna come standing up easy, easy, don't pass out. So the first thing you're gonna do is get to the front of your mat, get your hands on your thighs, breathe for a minute, lift your head and chest, drop your shoulders, drop your bottom. Lift your face, the cactus. Squeeze the knees, pull your guys' legs together, Gary, and let your hands go happy cactus, not sad cactus. <laughs> Elbows are high, squat down, squat down. Bend your knees more, Barb. That's good, pull the arms wide. So that's good. So we start to strengthen that middle part of your back so that they can hold the arms. Good. Keep your chin up just a little bit, Bob. Breathing in, breathing out. Squat a little lower, Linda. Brenda, squat lower. Burn your thighs. Burn thighs. Burn thighs. Go a little lower, Susan. More. There. Now breathe. Five, hippopotamus. Four. Three. What happened? Two. Somebody tipped over. One. <laughs> and easy. Inhale. Lift up. Keep your eyes open. Exhale. Your arms come around back behind your back. Elbows are in. Go ahead and lift your chest up. Push your pubic bone forward and your pelvis flat. Elbows try and touch. Elbows support your lower back bar. Squeeze the elbows together. Lift your chest up, don't lean back. Just lift the chest up, lift your chin up. Strong on your feet. Lift the chest, pull your feet a little closer together, Lee. So underneath your hips, good. And then easy, hinge a little bit, relax the arms, reach out, up and overhead. Exhale, slide down the heart line, pausing at the breastplate. And then easy, arms by your side, palms forward, stand in mountain pose, close your eyes, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out and softly scan your body, notice where you are, notice if you're a heel sitter or a toe walker, notice if you have a favoring to your left or your right foot. Notice the chin is parallel to the earth. There's some action in your pelvic bowl. You can drop your tailbone a quarter of an inch, shift your pubic bone towards your navel point a quarter of an inch. 
and then relax the shoulders reaching down so that you contain that you're involved in the energy and circulation of the container. So just let it get sloppy. Press down on the feet, reach out through the fingers, inhale, lift up, arms overhead. Slide your hands down, bend your knees, stretch the arms forward, open out to a T. Take your right foot to the edge of your mat, take the left heel behind you. So your stance, you guys with no mats, your feet are gonna be as far apart as your legs are long. So change your feet far. Your right foot is at the front of the mat and the left heel is behind you and you're lifted and you're gonna bend that right knee into warrior two. Good, the arms and shoulders are over the hips. The front ribs are tucked a little bit towards the back. Good job. Three more breaths. One. Two. Three. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, bend the front knee again and go ahead and rest your right forearm on the chin. No, thigh. And the left arm can stack up. Stack your shoulders up. Yeah, you can swing it. You can wrap that top arm around your lower back. If the palm, if your right palm is facing the sky, then you have made a little cup to catch that cosmic juice. You can always put your forefinger and thumb together to add to that electrical flow, that grounding. And then release that left arm, stretch it over your ear. Inhale, press down on your feet. Inhale, stretch both arms overhead, straighten both legs, look up. Good, 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 catch it, catch it, you got it. And exhale the left arm down your back leg. Both legs are straight. Turn your head to look up the right arm. Don't slide back, Mr. Squire. Just stay right on top of that thigh as you slide down. Good. Open your legs a little further, Linda. Wider, I suppose it's called. Kind of like starfish. Inhale, lift the arms up overhead. Turn both feet towards each other so your toes are towards each other and your hands come around to your back. You're going to twine your fingers, lace your fingers, and straighten your legs. Press on the outside blade, on the little toe outside line of your feet. So you create an arch. Make sure that outer right toe, the outer baby left toe is strong. Hands come off your bottom. Look up, Barb. Squeeze the elbows together. That's it. Breathing. Good. Keep this thing active. Good job. And easy, release the hands to your lower back, or you can just dive down to the ground. Release the hands to your lower back if you want. Dive down to the ground, up the lower back. Care Bear and Spire. Rub the back of your legs, rub your bums, rub your knees, squeeze your calves. Breathing. Good. Forward on the balls a little more time. That's it. Breathe in, breathe out. Try not to press right on the knees, Barb. <coughs> Grab onto your calves. They're a little more convenient. <coughs> Good. And then easy. Bend the knees. Hands on the thighs, lift your head, look up, open your eyes. Inhale, lift on up. Good, up. Slide down the heart line. Stretch the arms forward. Open the arms out to a T. Take your left foot and turn it away from your body. Take your right heel 
and drop it behind you. Drop it behind the toes, good. Make sure the stance is as wide as your legs are long. So Mr. Marlin, you can take more on that mat. Barb, you can open your feet a little further apart. Open the arms. Bend that left knee, sink into warrior two. The outside back foot is engaged. Good, breathe in, breathe out. Drop the shoulders, set the intention. Three more breaths, sink in there. Squeeze it, breathe it, lengthen. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, bend that front knee. You can hold on to your right waist and rest on your thigh, on your front thigh. That way you can stack your shoulders. You can keep that right left palm to the sky. Good, and that top arm can go to the sky or wrap around your lower back so that you open the chest more. That right shoulder rolls back. The left ribs roll forward. Breathing, that's good, that's nice. We can bend that, good. Roll the ribs, Brenda. Whoops, what's your over there? <laughs> good, Will, easy breathing. Release that arm, let it come out over your ear. Squeeze on your feet. Squeeze and inhale, lift up, arms lift up. So both legs are straight. And then you exhale, you're gonna slide the right arm down the thigh and look up your left. Breathe now. Good job. Good job, legs are straight. Careful your head, Dane. Good. Careful your knee, legs are straight. I know it's an odd one, keep it straight. Good job. And then easy. Inhale, lift up, both arms up. Go pigeon toed again. Bring your toes together, your heels out. Your arms can come around back behind you. And again, as we go down to the ground, the choice how you get there is yours. Twine the fingers, extend them below the bottom, squeeze the elbows together. Extra broaden, exaggerate the broadening and opening of your chest. And then as you dive down, you can throw those arms up and over your head, or you can massage your lower back and work your arms down your thighs. Good job. Good job. Nice, Dan. Go, Sue's breathing. Brenda's breathing. Rub those legs, Mr. Zim. Squeeze those shoulders together, Lee. Hey. Squires, good job. Care Bear, breathe. And easy, bring the arms down underneath your chin. I had someone go like this last week. They held under their chin. I went, wow, I better make sure my directions are good. So the arm, the fingers are on the ground underneath your chin. Your right hand comes directly under your nose and your left arm stretches out to the sky. Good, you can use the spider fingers. Lift your kneecaps. There you go. And lower down. Just replace that left arm on top of the right hand and the right arm spins up. Let your head go with you. Turn your hand forward towards me, Bill. Um, Bob, turn your hand this way. There you go. Breathe, honey. And lower down. And easy, both hands on the ground. Lift your chin and chest, open up your bottom and bend the knees, heel toe together, sink down in between your legs. See if you can sit and pray for help. <laughs> sit down between your legs. Oh no, not that way, Barb. Squat down. <laughs> ah. That a girl. Breathing, how, where do you feel it most? And easy, catch yourself. 
Don't hurt your tail. Roll down onto the ground. Good job, you guys. Practice crow. Roll down onto the ground. Easy, take a sip of water. It's summertime. It's June 1st. Almost solstice. Almost summertime. <laughs> I know, the year is just nuts. I don't know what I feel like about it. It's been a long time. So we stay liquid, as we know. The easier you're going to roll down onto your backs and see if you can tuck your knees into your chest. Tuck the knees into the chest. And put your hands on your kneecaps. Remember the kneecaps fit right in your palms and spin the knees in a circle. Oh no, spin the knees in another circle. I guess Thursday we have to do half plank. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we forgot the abdominal strength on our the anti cheeto blubber. Roll the other way and then drop up into happy baby. You can bend the knees so you hold the outside feet. The kneecaps try and fit into the armpits. Weird word. Bend your knees more, Gary. Grab your ankles. That's good. Good. Relax the tailbone. Relax the thighs. Rock a little bit side to side. Oh, that's good, the L and L team. Good, Will. Open your knees a little wider. Good. Just you can roll and see, test it out. What happens if you take the thigh, one thigh, all the way to the ground? You two have to decide you're both going to go the same direction, though. Otherwise, it's a big tangled mess. <laughs> see if you can get the leg all the way down to the ground. Back up. Go ahead and roll, Barb. Roll to the other side. And then come back in. Oh, very nice. Come back into the center and see what you can do. You can either hold your toes and open the legs into a big, gigantic, honey, I'm home, Y <laughs> or V. Or you can hold the inside of your calves and roll your toes towards the ground. Or you can just hold the inside of your thighs and try and roll the feet towards the ground, the toes. What happened, Gary? Back up. <laughs> I know it's tough because you're tight. That's good. Spread those legs a little wider, Mr. Squire. There you go. Well, don't put your toe in his face. <laughs> Breathing. Yeah. Lee, what's happening? Are your legs wide? Are you in the splits? Hands on the inside of the thighs. Three more breaths. That's good, Linda. Oh, the girls. You go, everybody. Woohoo. There's not a lot of honeys to come home to. And then easy. Keep the legs up there. Don't give up now. Building up strength because they're in an odd place, at least in your heart. Grab the outside thighs and press the legs together up towards the sky. Angle the feet off a little bit. Hold the back of your head with your fingers twined. Cradle your skull in your palms. But let your head rest on the ground. Let your elbows try and open up to get to the ground. Stretch your armpits and across your chest. Keep the legs straight up towards the sky. Remember, if you start to tremble, that's just your nervous system. Opening it up, so easy breathing. <laughs> Pushing the heels, opening and allowing that waterfall, that internal waterfall to strengthen the valves in your legs and in your groin and in your heart. Easy, staying with the big breathing, staying with the opening of the chest. That's good, relax your head down, Barb, and open the elbows. Good. You can angle your legs off a little bit, Johnny, and then organize it. Start at your anus, you know, start in the perineum. Exactly. 
press through the, th the heel. No, 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 don't give up, you're doing so well. Get back up there. What's happening? Three more breaths. Linda, your legs can go a little further. Hold on behind your head. Legs to the sky, breathe up. Good, two, one more breath. Three, close your belly there, people. And bring the knees into the chest and wrap your arms around your knees. Good job, everybody. Rock a little bit side to side. That was like air play. Big breath. <laughs> Drop your feet on the ground. Let your arms go by your side. Feet are hip width apart. You're just simply gonna curl your tail up to the sky. Raise your hips up and bring your chest towards your chin. Keep your arms on the ground and lower the spine down, vertebra by vertebra, like a string of pearls. Now it's easy, curl the tailbone up, lengthen the thighs, bring the chest towards your chin, press on your heels, and then lower on down. Let me see a couple of them. Good. At some point in your next one up there, hold it up and slip your hands underneath your body, twine the fingers and roll your biceps underneath. Press strongly on your feet. Good job. Good, use your toes. Good, and then roll on down easy. Release the hands, good job. Roll on down and easy. Hug the knees into the chest. Hug the knees into the chest. Arms are going to go out in the T. You're going to cross your right leg over your left leg. And you're simply going to roll to the left. Scoot your hips over a little bit. Roll to the left. Just get that exaggerated spinal twist. Mr. Squares, you can pull your lower rump back towards Gary, just a couple of inches. And then get the, ah, there you go. You can always hold on to the forehead if it's too much on the shoulders. Hey, good, Will. Good job. Careful of that uh, cantilevered arm, or, um, Brenda. That's good. And then exhale, oh, rusty. Exhale, roll your back back onto the ground. Unhook your legs and balance your hips. And then easy, arms are in a T. Cross the left leg over the right, left thigh over the right. Inhale, scoot the hips a little bit away and roll off to the right side. Good job. Good, try and get the knee down. Good job. You guys are so great. I love you so much. So organized. Get that knee down there, Barb. Feels good? Tuck your knees up towards your waist if you want to change the relationship in your lower back and in your hip. Good job. Remember, this is your body. So the adjustment, the subtleties in the adjustment give you a great opportunity to make it more bountiful in effect for you. Breathing. There you go, John. Good. And easy. Go ahead and roll back onto your back. Ease, roll back onto your back. Unhook your legs, bounce your hips. And easy, lift your arms up and your legs up and squeeze everything. Take a nice deep breath, squeeze everything. 
And then exhale, lay your feet down on the ground, stretch your arms out, go ahead and find yourself in Shavasana. Your arms can be in happy cactus. Your legs can be separated. Find yourself easy, soft, sweet. Find yourself soft and sweet and easy. Work through your body so that your lips are plump. And your face is smooth. Your eyes are easy. Sinking into the brain. Let yourself be easy. Let your breath move into your toes, into your inner thighs, and just relax the body. Take a moment to settle into the earth. Maybe a deep breath, a soft sigh. Stay relaxed, let your toes relax, let your ether body, look at that nervous tension that is in the outer part of the skin, just let that soften. And softly remind ourselves to befriend ourselves, to know where the fear is, if it's a mental fear, we're actually having a physical fear or anxiety. Let's really be at one with our good habits, our good nutrition, our good meditation, our good thoughts, our physical activity that strengthens and soothes us and relieves us from that extra anxiety. We can learn again to trust ourselves, to be cautious, and then not to be stagnant. Coming to off of that full moon, moving gently towards the most illuminated light, the longest days. And hopefully you're moving towards happy and healthy, gracious and spacious. And softly just bring our left hand onto our lower belly and our right hand onto our heart. So we can anchor Anchor that anxiety, anchor the feelings, trepidations, and use that calming effect of tactile touch, gentleness, sweetness. Remember, we're surrounded by the honey like nectar of the gods, that sweet, sweet amrit, the honey of the honeybees. So 
feel easy as we come back softly into the body. A little goats and sheep on the mountains. I like this bell. Like the child bell. Is it the old lady's bell? So let's just simply take a nice deep breath and open up the arms into a T. And easy slide the fingers across, the thumbs across the fingertips. And expand the breath so the ribs get large and the chest rises towards the chin. Let's reconnect with the full breath into the toes. And on the exhale again, let's bring the hands to the heart. Let's gather in all that sweetness, all that love, that grace of the light. And then twine your fingers, lace your fingers, and roll your arms up and overhead so they stretch away from your crown. Step your straight legs together and point your toes and push your heels and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Flutter your eyelashes and move your mouths and go, yay. Exhale, tuck the knees into the chest. Give yourself a big hug. And if you're already sitting, then sit easy. If you're on the ground, still go off to one side or the other. Pause for a breath and press yourself up easily to a seated position that's comfortable for you. Notice your earthboundedness, the seatedness, and the rootedness. Stretch the arms out from your wing bones through the fingertips up and overhead. Press the palms and fingers together. And easy, open up into that full lotus mudra. Let the baby finger and thumbs glue, and the other fingers burst open like the petals of the lotus blossom. Slide humbly down the heart line, receiving that energy of the gods. Same that you got through your feet. Hollow. And let the fingertips come together and we bow our head towards our heart to find ourselves in the ancient greeting, that place where we welcome and honor and beckon and greet that sparkly great spirit, that incandescent glow within ourselves and others. We thank ourselves for being present and a part of. Thank you so much for being part of this ongoing experiment in noon urban yoga. We love it so much. Thank you so much. And have a wonderful day. And see you on Thursday. Namaste. Namaste, everybody, and thank each other for being present. Make sure you remember if you miss us or things get all fouled up, go to the YouTube and you can play around with that. Thank you, guys. Good job.